things that are different are disturbing and wrong. From the witches of medieval Europe to the career of Shelley Duvall, humans have long tried to destroy what we don't understand. For a fun game chart full of killing unusual things, here's our review of Monster Hunter Freedom. Compulsive obsession, avarice, waste, greed, and gluttony. Just a few of the ingredients that make up monsters. And then there's these things. Instinctual, protective, their every reaction in efficient response to a natural action. Who's hunting whom? Monster Hunter Freedom for the PSP delivers liberty by doing away with a lot of the original title's pomp and circumstance, concentrating instead on the edge of your blade, making that snickersnack contact mythical lizard's dread. But before you start gleefully rummaging through the game space in search of your best-looking monster flage, know that all great monster hunters must first learn to... Fish. That's right. Before you can test your metal and scaly hides, you'll first have to mine for it. Gather things, listen to your elders, carry eggs in a pre-raid era, and play the great and greasy calliope of Dark Ages cuisine. You'll start out naturally at the great watering hole of humanity, the local gin joint. There, quests of varying difficulty await your boozy bravado. Some are, of course, more interesting than others. Fetching the mythical dragon's egg, for example, may not look that exciting, but if we add some dramatic music... The rub is, is that there's a lot that comes between you and dragon slaying. After you've earned a couple of merit badges, you're finally ready to set off for a bit of lizard wrestling. And there, within the bloody battle royale of talent, tail, and sword, lays another problem with the title. The camera. Someone give this camera a Ritalin. The view within the game is not well behaved, and this ends up being a flaw that leads to an incredible loss of blood and patience. <laughs> On the positive side, the game does sport some impressive vistas to hunt within. Though too many missions of a similar nature and a monster menu that relies on too many of the same appetizers before you get to the bigger main course fatigues even the most breathtaking visions of Dino Eden. Did we mention the fun loading screens? There's loads of depth in terms of character modification, weapons, and armor customization. After a long bloody trail of dead dinos, you should be one badass monster hunter. But are you bad enough for this guy? What do you think, happy loading screen? A three out of five. Why do they think we want to fish? I can fish and carry things in real life. But I don't, so I don't really want to perform boring tasks and games either. <laughs>